we will be covering the boiler information menu. This menu gives you very helpful information on troubleshooting and maintaining your boiler. To access the information menu, you press and hold down the IP button until the screen displays 00. You now have access to the first piece of information, which is a secondary fault code. Some of the error codes in the boiler have different phases to the code. This will give you that phase. For instance, if you had a 25 error code, there's three different phases to that code, 500, 525, and 535. That would be displayed where the 000 is now. If I press the IP button again, I can see 01 of the information menu. This displays the heating supply temperature of the boiler in real time. So if you want to see what the supply temperature is coming out of the boiler to your heating system, this will let you see that. 02 is the outdoor reset sensor. If you have an outdoor reset sensor connected to the unit, the current temperature reading would be displayed here. Right now we see three dashes because there is no outdoor reset sensor connected to this unit. 03 is the indirect tank sensor. If you are using an indirect tank water heater with a heat only boiler and the indirect tank kit, this function would give you the temperature inside the well of the tank. 04 is for a combi or combination boiler. If you're using a combi boiler, this will tell you the temperature of your domestic hot water being provided by the boiler in real time. This is very useful for homes where you may be getting temperature fluctuations at fixtures in the home. 05 is the current water pressure inside the boiler. 06 is the heating return temperature. So you can access this information menu and look at 01 and 06 to compare your delta T going across your boiler at any time. 07 is the thermal fuse status. 001 means it is active. 08 is currently not used. 09 is the heating set point of 176 degrees out of your heating loop. 10 and 11 also are not used. They are manufacturing functions. 12 is the flue temperature sensor. This will tell you the reading of your stack temperature. 13 is another manufacturing function. 14 is for open therm communication. 15 and 16 are more manufacturing functions. 17 will show you in real time the RPMs of the blower inside the boiler when it's running. 18 is the last one which is another manufacturing function. After that it cycles back to the beginning. To exit the information menu, press the power reset button one time and you're back to the main screen. If you forget to exit the information menu, after five minutes the boiler will revert back to the main screen on its own.